Hi everyone, welcome to October Favorites. After the feedback last time, what I'm going to do is try to put my repeated items at the end of each segment so then you can hit the skip ahead button if you have already seen those repeated items. This body shop Satsuma shower gel, it's wonderful, it's orange, I really enjoyed it. I would not repurchase because I am going to uh, focus more on, after I've used up my products, of getting Caress. I love their passionate spell, they have a lot of other wonderful scents, and it's a much better price for three times as much. So while this was very nice, I don't think I would repurchase. The Pantene Smooth Mask, I love this. I use this as the deep conditioner and the Aussie 3 Minute as my quick one. But either way, this is really nice and hydrating for my dry hair. And my Revlon, I use this bleach all the time. Love it. And I did the video on how I play Mad Chemist. I love Wilkinson's razors. I bought these. These are Wilkinson's. They are not as good as the other ones that I buy. So I'm going to show you the ones that I buy. I would not buy these again. Unfortunately, I think I have three or four more to use up in the pack. I normally get the dollar store natural white, but not the sensitive one. And that is what I've gotten lately because I've had some problems with my teeth I talked about in my favorites. Um, but this sensitive one is really good if you're having any kind of problems with your teeth like I was. And I really like this and for a dollar it's fantastic. My Sure deodorant, love it. Not as hot as usual, it's maybe in the 80s today, but use this year round and so does Mark. It's wonderful. Thyroid pills, if you haven't had yours checked, get them checked. I'm on to Synthroid and Armor and I did the video on it. And finally from the dollar store is my Dazzling White Whitening Pan. With my tea sensitivity I haven't been able to use these as much as I like to and it shows and it's not good. So I'm starting to get back into them again and I'm so glad. This air repair moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, it was very, very lightweight. Even for a daytime moisturizer, it was much too lightweight for my dry skin, so would not recommend it. I do like their under eye cream. I think I already used that up, um, and it's very nice. I like that one a lot, but this I would not repurchase. I used three of these masks. I love buying these little masks. I think they're just over a dollar at Walmart and you get a couple of uses out of each of them. The charcoal and black sugar polishing scrub was very gritty and kind of hard to wash off, so not my favorite. The pomegranate peeling mask was nice if you like a peel-off mask. They're more work, but I think they're good to, you know, help clean out your pores, and so I do like to use peel-offs in between times. And then this one was my favorite, which was an Emily Noel recommendation, which is the Diamond Mineral Rinse Mask. And this kind of had a little bit of uh, tingling to it, and I really enjoyed the feel of it. It was very mild, and then it's just a rinse off, so it was really nice and easy to use. These Kirkland facial wipes, they come in a big jar like this, and somebody was asking me, apparently they changed, and with this new paraben-free formula, it isn't good for the eyes. Well, I use my makeoff pads with oil on them to get my eye makeup off, so I never really put it around my eyes, but when I've used them on my eyes, these are not good. They do sting. For the rest of my face, they're totally fine. I went through quite a bit of makeup, and I'm very pleased about it. Uh, let's start with three items that I did not use up that I'm letting go. This Colorado lip balm, we got it I think it was part of a wedding favor, and I just did not care for it. It went on quite thick. It wasn't creamy, it wasn't hydrating, and I have other lip balms, so it's not worth using. This nail polish has dried up. I've gotten a lot of good use out of it, but time to let it go. And finally, this color tattoo in Too Cool. It is dried up. I tried stirring it, I tried adding eye drops, I've tried microwaving it, nothing worked, and it's just not worth it to me because I have so many other uh, shadows, so I'm going to let this one go as well. For the items that I did use up, this NYX eyeshadow base, I really enjoyed it. I like the doe foot applicator, it's very easy to use. I don't know that I would repurchase though. Um, it's, it was very nice, but I think there's others that I like better. This little mascara, no idea what it is because that's worn off. Used it up, 
and I will let it go. It was good for travel. This e.l.f. moisturizing under eye primer, I don't think it's really any different than any other moisturizing cream. I have some other ones, so I will use them up, but it's just the same as using a moisturizing cream to me. Um, so, and I like my uh, Monistat, I, I use that under my eyes as well. This Elizabeth Mott You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Glitterati. The brush splayed and is not good for putting on. And true to its name, there's glitter. So I've used up almost all of it and I'll let that go. The Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This is nice with the caveat that I need to do a full face of makeup. So you might recall last month in my favorites, I showed you my Maui look, which is no contour, no highlight, no powder, just foundation, mascara, brows, blush, and lipstick, and out the door. This is not good for that lighter look. It goes oily, it breaks apart. Um, I definitely need to conceal and powder at the very least with this. I tried doing that natural look that I was into and I saw some of my editing of videos that you're going to see probably next week and I was like, ooh, not good. So when you're going to do a more natural look, make sure you have a foundation. The one that I really like is the one I use in Maui, which is the Maybelline Dream Wonder, I think, with the little weird wand on it. That works amazing. This is a nice foundation, but like I said, definitely conceal and powder with this one. I used up three concealers. I was very proud of myself. The two Age Rewinds. I would not repurchase the pink. I am more of a warm to neutral skin tone and you would think pink works well. It doesn't. Um, it just was not. Also, this is rather than a concealer. Boy, the birds are going crazy over there. <laughs> rather than a concealer, this is uh, sits more on the surface like a highlighter and it's just way too pink for me. I did like this one, which is the neutralizer. It's very nice, but what I like best is the one that's in the white tube and it's the dark circle concealer. So if I'm only going to buy one, it would be that dark circle one. And then this is the Physician's Formula uh, Concealer. It was nice. It's the twist up version. It comes out a lot or not enough is the only thing I don't like. So I would frequently wind this up and put it into a contact lens container and then I could use my brush or um, beauty blender to get on exactly the amount that I wanted. It wasn't anything that I would repurchase. It just didn't stay well and it, there's so many other ones that I like better. The Maybelline Fit Me or like I said, the Maybelline Dark Circle Concealer. To me, those are better value and work better. Another product that I have used up as much as I could is the Essence Gel Eyeliner. It's dried out on me and I'm okay with that. It is a fabulous price, lasts forever. It's my own fault. I am much more aware of how quickly gel eyeliners dry out. So it doesn't owe me anything. And yes, I would repurchase once I use up my huge stash. This Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde, loved it, used it. It did get dry right towards the very end, like I would say only in the last month, and this is a couple years old. It's amazing how well this lasts, how far it went. Definitely get a lot for the money, but I don't see a need to spend more money when you can now get the pomades like by NYX and Milani that are a lot less money and I'm sure would last just as well. So I'm gonna try one of those next time, but did really enjoy this. Two items that I'm pretty proud I used up. The first one is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. Used up the whole thing, loved it. I have another one and really, really, really enjoy it. This works well as a setting powder, an under eye powder. It's got a little bit of luminosity in there. Um, to me, it's not a highlighter, but I love it as a setting powder. And yes, I would repurchase once I get through all of my powders. This Sonia Kashuk bronzer in rich bronze. It's a cream bronzer. I loved it. I used up every drop. I don't know that I would repurchase because to me, there's so many other uh, ones that are less expensive than the Sonia Kashuk line. It is very nice though, but the e.l.f. ones are fabulous as well. So doesn't owe me anything, but would not repurchase. And I'm very proud because this lasted a long time. So I'm really proud that I used that up. This, by the way, was in my use-up tray, so. And the last item is the Prada Candy Perfume. Really enjoyed this. 
sorry for the noise with the yard guys. I would wait normally and film when they're gone, but I have to get into work. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you next time.